while waiting for the curfew, I will update my daily to-do list on this big whiteboard. Okay lang kahit small tasks lang kasi may feeling of productivity and small win when I tick an item. After mag-toothbrush, magsasalang naman ako ng laundry para may sampay ko kasi mukhang maaraw ngayon. Past 6am na so I'll grab my running shoes and head out for a quick workout. Importante sa akin to make it a point to exercise kasi I'll be spending the rest of the day sitting and kung nasa mid-twenties ka na, you'll know how lower back pain starts to creep in for work from home employees. I try to work out at least three times a week. It doesn't have to be running, pwede rin jump rope, sometimes weights kung solo ko yung gym. Hey guys, uh, just a quick check-in. Uh, 6.40 to na, 6.42 a.m. I need to be back by 7, around 7 o'clock. And maganda yung trade natin for today, meron akong ibebenta. Hindi ko nalang kasabihin. Pero I have three positions of that stock. Uh, sana mabenta natin ngayon. No? Maganda sana yung price. Uh, update ko kayo mamaya. Kasi I need to go back na. So, let's go! Good yeah, morning! Kuya, ano ito? Pwede mo din tayo siya. Pero ito, may palaman to. Ito, plain. plain lang. Alam ba mas, ano, mas bestseller? Ito? ito? Oh. Oh, sige. Kamotin ka, hoy. Kamotin ka, ito. Sige pa. Thank you, sir. Okay na, ito lang dala ko eh. Salamat. <laughs> As I head back to my room, tirik na ang araw kasi past 7 a.m. na. I'll make a cup of coffee, shower, and turn on my work laptop. Around 7.15 a.m. magta-time in na ako. My day job is a software developer. Almost 4 years na rin ako sa current company ko and nag-transition na kami to a full work from home setup. That's one advantage of being in the web development industry. As long as my stable and fast internet connection ako, I can work from anywhere and still be productive. At 8 a.m., meron kaming daily stand-up meeting. I will be reporting what I did yesterday, what my plans today are, and if my impediments or blockers ba ako in my current task. Hi, good morning. Uh, I was on sick leave yesterday afternoon, but uh, in the morning I was able to address the cold review comments. And then for today, I'll be catching up with the devs regarding the huddle they had yesterday. Thanks. After the meeting, breakfast na. And assuming walang follow-up meetings, I will be doing code reviews from 8.20 a.m. Iti-check ko yung mga code ng mga squad mates ko and at the same time, check my own pull requests for any comments or violent reactions. Ayun guys, so 10 minutes na lang before mag-open ang market and eh, nagbabasa-basa lang ako dito sa business world. Hindi ko naman siya kailangan basahin uh, meticulously. Eh, nagbabasa rin ako dito sa PSE Edge. And as usual, hindi lahat binabasa ko. Yung mga companies lang na hawak ko kasi baka may nagpalit na fundamentals that will factor in when when deciding kung ibebenta ko na ba or hindi pa. So for example, itong mga uh, companies na to, hindi ko sila hawak. So hindi ko yan babasahin. Eh, ito, Union Bank, babasahin ko yan later. Tapos, naalala nyo, uh, may gusto kong ibenta na stock today. Ito siya, si Globe. Kasi yesterday, umakit siya ng about, ano ba, 14%. Grabe, no? And nakapagbenta ako kahapon at 2,300. Kasi nahit niya yung TP ko. Ito, ito. Pakita ko sa inyo. This part, yan. Yung broken line na yan, nahit niya kahapon, 2,3. So, nagbenta ako dito, pero hindi ko in-expect na akit siya ng ganyan kataas. Buti na lang, hindi ko binenta lahat. So, may two positions pa ako na... I can decide to buy, ah, to sell later on, pero yun, as much as possible, I don't try to decide um, during the market hours kasi dapat execution na lang. So, kung makapag-decide ako na ibenta, i-enter ko lang yung price, tapos bahala na kung ma-meet yung order ko. And hindi ko naman siya babantayan every minute. Tapos, pakita ko din sa inyo isa pang feature ng investor chart. Ito, you can see four different stocks at the same time four different charts. So, ito si Globe. Binabantayan ko rin si Tel. Wala akong positions for Tel, but I'm interested in the story. Kahapon, 7% yung inakit niya. Si Union Bank, I have some positions in UBP, and uh, medyo hot siya ngayon because of crypto. And then, another is All HC, which is Ayala Land, Ayala Land Logistics. Uh, ito yung the one that got away sa akin. Kasi ang ganda nung position ko dati, kaya lang wala akong buying power. So, nakawala. <laughs> hindi, ako, hindi talaga ako makapasok ngayon. Kasi hindi na siya 
fit sa strategy ko. Pero ang ganda eh, tumataas pa rin. So yun lang, hintay lang ako ng 9.30, tapos balikan ko yung ibang stocks. From 9.30am, magkocode na ako until lunchtime, kasi hindi ko naman kailangan bantayan yung stock market. So kumbaga, after years of practice, I cured my FOMO and found the right balance between my job and trading. At lunchtime, may around 50 minutes pa ako before the market closes. And pleasant surprise kasi umakyat na naman si Globe, kaya nabenta ko yung second position ko, bagging 44% profits. And one thing I learned from years of trial and error is bawal maging greedy. Stop overthinking and just follow your strategy. The PSE closes at 1pm so balik coding na ako. Minsan gumagawa ako ng second cup of coffee pero ang hirap makatulog sa gabi. Fun fact, did you know that the half-life of caffeine is about 5 hours? That means after 5 hours, may 50% caffeine pa sa bloodstream. Kaya naman ay avoid drinking coffee beyond 4pm kung gusto ko na antukin around 9. Halos mag aalas stress na and I'm feeling the pain in my lower back. Which means time to stretch a bit. I'm too poor for a standing desk kaya I opted to buy monitor arms. Tapos samahan na lang natin ang foldable desk. Kapag stuck na ako sa isang task, I try to step away and take a break. In web development, we get too focused on the smallest details kaya okay rin to take a step back to see the bigger picture. Minsan, mabilis ako makaisip ng solution, minsan naman, I have to sleep on it. 30 minutes before ako mag-time out, tinatry ko ulit mag-code review kung may energy pa ako. Kung wala na, edi bukas na lang ulit. Once in a while, my broker hosts a free Zoom seminar. I learned not to take this for granted kasi I get to share a virtual room with the top minds in the industry. For today's seminar, nandito ang president, CEO, and treasurer of the upcoming Robinsons Land Reit. While listening, binabasa ko na rin yung daily notes from my broker about the telco industry and kung bakit lumilipal recently ang stocks like Globe and PLDT. After the seminar, magpapalit na ako ng laptop. Maglilinis ako ng konti, take a quick shower, Tapos, chill na lang while updating my tracking spreadsheets. Kaya lang naman tayo hindi gumagamit ng whisk kanina. Kasi, uh, ano ba yun? May gluten naman pa-form. Dito wala. So, kailangan siguro dito medyo smooth ba ang ating butter? Uy, smooth like butter. <laughs> At this point, I already lost track of time. Kumbaga, ito na yung chance for me to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the night. Sometimes may tea na pampa-relax while browsing hanggang magutom na ako and kainin ko na yung last meal from my meal subscription. And speaking of meal subscription, dumadating yan between 7.30 and 9. This meal plan is one example of how money can buy happiness. Check that video if hindi nyo pa napanood. Yeah, good evening. Kunin ko lang. Kaya kawai ka. Kahit mo kayo? <laughs> Kahit saglit lang, yung mga small human interactions na ganyan ay malaking bagay na sa akin to keep my sanity. Doble ingat na lang talaga pag lumalabas. I also try to sneak in a little leisure reading during the night. Unlike before, hindi ko na pinapressure yung sarili ko to read every day pero effective to pampantok. Nagbabawas ako ng sugar kaya may kasamang apple para healthy. Pero syempre, one step at a time. If curious pala kayo, I'm currently reading The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying. Finally, pag dinapuan na ako ng antok, inom vitamins, linis katawan, and toothbrush. In my personal finance journey, kailangan talaga ng sacrifices but it doesn't mean I have to compromise on every single aspect of my life. After all, getting a ton of money is not the goal. Money is only a tool because freedom is my goal. And if trading in the stock market can help me reach the point na hindi ko na kailangan isipin ng pera, then I think I am on the right path. Hey Google, good night. What time should I set the alarm for? 5.30 a.m. Tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. Set. Good night, Ray. Bash!